you. Uh, they should charge admissions for Bonnie Lewis and Andy Lambert. Those guys are awesome. But you can see, obviously, how fun those guys are to be around. And, uh, the whole conference is. The whole conference is, uh, you know, we met as coaches prior to. Um, I mean, it's just a really, really good group. I can't believe the professional, unbelievable setting of this. It's a great opportunity for visibility for each of the schools, the conference as a whole. So it was really, I mean, awesome. Good time. I know that you just heard guys talk and they're not showing all their cards. Just your initial thoughts on what you may see and what you're up against in the case. I think the big thing is uh, the first two non-conference games that everybody plays, that's when you have to show your hand, basically, at that point in time. Because everybody says the same thing. Everybody is excited about their recruits. Wants to be good on offense, defense, and special teams. So everybody says the same thing, but then the, the product of so there's more to it than having the biggest, strongest guys. It's about having your team gel together, molding your offense and defense to what your kids can do and do well. So those first two non-conference games are a big deal. You know, I uh, I don't have an idea of when we play anybody other than Hastings on September 6th. And you know, Mike Herman, our athletic director, gives me a hard time about it. But I, that's the there. The only thing I'm worried about right now is that's the only thing we can control. So. Uh, no, I think, I think, I think, like I said, the league obviously is three teams sent to the playoffs last year, and that's a representation of what the country thinks of the league. So it's it's very good, and competition brings excellence. So you had an idea that this was a pretty good conference when you took this job. It's the same. It's and it, now it makes even more sense having to. I hadn't met any of these coaches before, and now seeing how they work professionally, the kind of people they are, it, it's easy to see why their programs reflect that on their guys. So it's uh, it's as good as advertised, and it's going to be fun. Is it a daunting thing? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, we played in the conference I played in. We uh, or came from. That's daunting. <laughs> yeah, that's a good league. So the last three national champs came from that league, and you can't. I mean, that's a. That's a great league, so we won't, uh, it's just, like I said, there's a big opportunity here for everyone involved in our program, and that's all I really have control over, so uh, I want everybody to stay healthy and play well so we get everybody's best game every week. Last question, the coaches pick you seventh, the media picks you ninth, the polls mean anything to you? No, because if you're picked one, I I'm actually... I would rather be picked nine or ten every single year because then that means you're the underdog and it's easier to sell your kids on. Uh, you can anytime you can get an artificial chip on your shoulder on top of the one that we as coaches already put there, that's awesome. You know, so I like that a lot. So and and it should be there's great teams in this league, so it should be hard to get ranked first, but in the top half. Of it, so uh, not a whole lot of stock. It's just something you have to do. I mean, you can see how those things are built. As the coaches. Just kind of vote on how everybody did last year and go. All right, it was the next to last question. This is the last question. No, so I, Just from what you've heard, uh, the, the, the poll come out, the way you voted, do you see that there's any clear-cut teams or the best ones at the top? Or how do you I mean, I think the four ranked teams, you have to look at it as far as a consistency standpoint, I guess the four ranked teams, which would be, you know, whether you put Sterling, Ottawa, Friends, and Tabor, whatever order you put them in, those are the four teams that are the four most, really stand out. Yes, the really, really, really consistent teams. And I think everybody else wants to get to that level of consistency, and that's what's neat is that if you play Tabor and they turn the ball over a couple times, no matter who they're playing, St. Mary's can jump on you, Kansas Wesley can get you, uh, Bethany can jump on you, whoever it might be. So that's what's really neat about the league is that every Saturday can really, really out, you know, change the outcome of the game. However, I think that's why those four schools get the most, I guess, respect because of consistency. And injuries, too. Yeah, which is a credit and depth, yeah, absolutely. So I'd say that's a credit to coaches and kids. Thanks, man. You bet. Thanks.